So today I'm going to show you how to build this really quick and dirty little side clamp. Now this is adjustable. I can move this clamp up and down the length of this 2x6, uh, a little over 4 feet long, and I can make it as long as I want, of course. Now I did have a little trouble with my audio in this video, and I'm sorry. I'll get that fixed for the next one. This is a real short, quick video. It's just not worth spending a bunch of time working on the audio. So let's get to it. Today's project is a side clamp or adjustable side clamps and like most of my shop fixtures and jigs I want to do this quick and dirty. I don't want to spend all day building this. I want to get onto the project. So I started with a 2x6 and I cut two 8 inch sections off one end of it. And to lay it out I put a line one and three quarter inches up from the bottom and then I measured over two inches from the side and then put a line there. Now these are going to work with a wedge and I'm going to cut the wedge right out of this 2x6 block. So I just kind of eyeballed it. It's not really important how, what the shape of that or what the angle of the wedge is. And then I went over and I cut those two lines out on the bandsaw. Now I didn't cut the bottom out yet and I'll show you why here in a second. So for the bottom I'm just going to drill a hole at the end of the bandsaw cut. Then I'm going to feed in my coping saw and that little hole just makes it so I can turn the coping saw blade up at a 90 degree angle and cut that little wedge up. Now once the wedge was cut out, I took it back over to the chop box and being careful to keep my fingers away from the blade, I took about a three quarter of an inch off the narrow end and about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter off the top side of it. That was done. I took another section of by six that I cut off of it. Now I cut these at 16 inches long and you'll see here later in the build I changed my mind and I ripped two inch sections out of the two by six. And then I marked out where they go on the little clamp pieces I cut out, and then I just glued them up. I want to glue these on either side of that clamp to give it some strength. If I were to shove a wedge in there, it could literally crack that little base. So I glued these two up, clamped them on. And I was going to build this with a little slide out mechanism underneath my table. Uh, that's what you see the two long cantilever pieces coming off of that but I changed my mind later in the build and you'll see that I just cut them off so it wouldn't be necessary to cut the real long section after they were glued I went ahead and added it so it's probably not necessary but you know I like a little overkill from time to time So I went over and actually chopped off those longer pieces I decided I wasn't going to build this whole sliding thing that went underneath my table now on one clamp, I glued it and screwed it to the remainder of the 2x6. And that clamp is just going to stay right there forever. Now I could have gotten fancy and did some kind of sliding dovetail with the other clamp. But you know what? I have screw guns all over the shop. It only takes a half a second to run screws in. So I just put it where I wanted it and ran a couple screws into the 2x6 to hold it in place. And then I screwed my 2x6 to the bench. Obviously, you could clamp it to the bench if you unscrew. Now I just put the board on, the so on its side and pounded the wedges in. And that holds it really super tight. So if you're planing or you're cutting dovetails, God bless you, <laughs> uh, or just standing or um, edge banding a piece or a panel. This holds it really nice and secure and it's dirt cheap to build and they are actually pretty fast to build. So that's it. There's my quick and dirty side clamp. Some people call them end clamps or edge clamps. There you go. That's a nice little fixture to have around the shop with upcoming projects I have. I'll put it to really good use. Now when I want to store it, I put the wedge in, give it a little tap with the hammer, that secures the wedges right in place, and then I can set it out of the way. I have my bench back and ready to go. So there you have it, really quick, really easy to build. You can build this thing really in just a few minutes, maybe, maybe an hour, um, depending on what kind of equipment you have in your shop. And this is something that comes in really handy, especially when you're doing you know, edge banding or you've got work to do on the side of a panel. And of course you can make the clamps bigger to accept things like doors or whatever. So um, use your imaginations. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, you know I love you.